I'm here to help you with the Punisher's Goldberg machine challenge, the blend fail and stuff you can do with it. Let's kind of go into it and go through the blend file and kind of break down this Goldberg machine and some of the things that you might want to know to kind of for your little thing adventure. So what we're going to be using is the blend file that I was initially using and thinking about the idea. But if you do watch really closely, I do have a render of what I'm working on now. <laughs> So we're going to be talking about the rigid body systems, a little bit of fluid, a little bit of the, the cell the fracture, if you want to break something up, you know, why am I? And just kind of how to get around it and actually have it working, you know, working for you. Let's jump in. Now, the main problem with everything that's happening is the scale is wrong. It's small. It's tiny. So what I'm going to do is shift S, cursor to weld origin. Let's shift A and add in an empty. Select the empty last. Control P to parenter object. And there we go. That hasn't really done anything. That didn't really do anything. <laughs> so from here, what you want to do is scale it up. S, 10, to make it 10 times bigger. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now it's at a manageable scale where you can do your fluid simulations. You can do yourself fractures and it'll work. Yeah, but when I run the simulation, it's super slow. <laughs> <laughs> if you scaled it up by 10, all you got to do is change the time by 2. Mm. This will now match that gravitational pull and kind of like it works really well. So just go ahead and now you can build stuff. Yeah, but now I want to bake the rigid body simulations. <laughs> so from here, what you can do is you can select all your rigid body and your fluid simulation. Go file, export as FBX and save that. So what that'll do is it'll bake the simulations of everything you've just exported. Now go ahead and delete everything that you've got selected. File, import, FBX, wham bam, thank you ma'am. With the mesh that you just re-imported, make sure you've got all that selected. Shift left click on the empty, and then what you can do is select the empty, and then you can scale by 0.1, and it's at the correct scale. The camera now is back to being perfect as it is, saving yourself a whole bunch of time. <laughs> 